welcome back to Cougar Talk. Today, we are going around and uh, kind of talking about the new Necrom chapter that just came out. And man, this just came out on Tuesday. And I have to say to the developers that have been doing this, you guys have done a really good job with this chapter release. I really like the, this is probably the best chapter release we've had ever since Rothgar came out and basically like one Tamriel. Um, as far as everything goes, like just the smoothness of the game and such. Obviously there's a couple of little, st like little stuff that's going on. Um, one of the big things that is happening right now that's been in talks um, on PC and we kind of tested it last night and saw that it is a problem, but it's not a big problem is that pillager um from the dread sail uh reef trial the 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 set pillager is not working as intended um it is giving pets heroism instead of their actual uh people but when we were trying it last night um we saw that at about 80 percent of the time it does give everybody the stuff it's just that 20 percent um when you know like 20% off basically so it's not that bad but it's not the best either um, I would say just you know if you're not really score pushing I, I would still play the set a lot of people are like oh we're gonna we're gonna go to the uh, new set the transformation set from uh, the new trial um, uh, I mean guys that's a little bit you know that's 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 a little bit over the top right like the come on it's the perfected transmotive transmotive hope that's the new set uh from the new trial that is basically what people are are going on on about and i'm like oh, i don't know about that but um speaking of which let's kind of see why people are going after this set so the reason is it adds four percent healing done gain minor ages at all times adds 129 magic of recover adds four percent healing while in combat when you heal yourself or an ally that is below 50 percent health you ignite a spark of hope within them for three seconds if they are above 90% health when the effect ends, you and the ally gain major heroism for 15 seconds, and this effect can occur once every 20 seconds per target. I understand why people want to do this set, but guys, there's only a couple of places that this particular set is going to be good enough unless the whole team is comping around this set. Um, I'm not saying that the set is bad, okay? Like, the set is actually quite good if you comp around it. But you have to comp around it. Which means that there's got to be something that you do to get below 50% health. And just pray the healers are not putting hots on you that are ridiculous. Um... So you have to kind of think about that as well. Of course, I think this is better in PvP than PvE. Because, you know, that major heroism for 15 seconds is, is pretty nice. And if you have a really good healer in, PV, um, in PvP, you're going to... Three seconds, they're going to put you back to 90% health. And per target is 20 seconds so that means you can do it in every single target so like you can go down the line and do it to every single target um so i mean it is a good set don't get me wrong but as far as um the actual set and people are saying oh let's we're gonna switch this for that <laughs> guys don't do it just stay with pillager it's not the end of the world um and then for those people that are going you know the the top scoring groups um they already know how to use pillager and their team lead is probably going to comp the group enough to where they can make this happen 
that's the only time that I would say to do it is if you're comping the group to make as much um, of this set as possible. And there's still people out there that do not know how to play with Pillager. Um, it's insane because there's the groups, they're like, oh, we have Pillager in the group, but they don't really understand what they need to do as a group to make Pillager like 100% effective in a fight. Um, and it's, it's kind of sad because we're kind of behind PC about six months as far as console goes. And it, it really sucks, but I wanted to touch base on this first because people are going to be saying, yes, go to this set. If you can comp with this set until Pillager is back, that's fine. But if you're not able to comp, then, you know, come on. There, there's no need to put this. Just leave it the way it is, okay? Um, <laughs> so here we go. Arcanus is the worst class in the game. Oh my god. We have the crybabies already, guys. Alharion says, The PvP has become unplayable. It's already not welcoming, but with this class is even worse, since this class is here. A book as a death ray, and an immobilizer, and they got their build. It's even fairer for the other classes. Yes, the tentacle thing immobilizes people, and then the book ray is like raid and oppression, basically, 2.0. Um, plus, you're building crux with the immobilizer as well. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty it's pretty nutty. And somebody says, I've literally made a post about this, and then they linked the post. We'll, we'll go over there in a minute. And then <laughs> Tashin says, I think he means the OP. And then this guy says, hides in plain sight. My dude. Ain't no one in PvP complaining about the Arcanist. They have zero burst potential. The crux change made them more prone to being burst down. While also decreasing their burst potential. They are sustained damage PvP build that shines in no procs and VGs. Their charm can be blocked. Their beam can be interrupted. They have zero mobility. And you can outrun both the beam and the ult. <laughs> It takes a minimum of three GCDs to eat a full power beam, and that only works if you're stun luck. I mean, it's so true. To be honest, I have been PvP with the Arcanist, but if this is true, and I've seen like you can you can literally stun them and interrupt their freaking beam. There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason why you should be bitching and moaning about PvP with the arcanist because yeah and then this guy's like here we go again um <laughs> all right so this guy says i fought two arcanists in serial today both full leveled in cp camp hmm okay one was a mag and the other stam did a 1v1 tower fight with the stam on my pv stam blade and managed to win as you said i had to burst However, the class as a stun, I'm not sure how it works. It reminds me of the warden skill that randomly freezes you in proximity. Bit annoying. The mage, however, was tanky. Never was able to defeat that one, even with the help. In the end, during that skirmish around BRK, the most annoying player there were weren't the Arcanist, but the Magsork. The freaking stack shield Magsork. Guys, come on. Anyways, let's go at this. Let's go in this thing. Which is more annoying in PvP? Dragonites or Arcanus? Guess what, guys? Dragonites win. Imagine. Arcanus because they instantly kill my whole team with one ability in just three seconds. Um, who in their right mind would say Arcanus? Arcanus entire kit is negated by movement. They have no burst and rely on proc set 7 of damage to kill players. Break their shield and bash them. Block their charm and you won't get stunned. Very easy to deal with them. Absolutely amazing. It's absolutely insane that people are saying the Arcanus are good in PvP. When they're actually very fair in PvP compared to PvE. In PvE guys, they're pretty freaking nuts. Just saying... I see nerfs coming, and the nerfs is gonna be insane because I mean, it's not gonna be as bad as people think, not right away, 
but it, it's it's pretty nutty. So the um, this skill that says summon an explosive rune under an enemy that etches foes nearby with scroll glyphs, dealing X magic of damage over 20 seconds. The rune lingers on the initial target for six seconds before detonating, dealing X amount of frost damage to enemies within seven meters. Rune detonation cannot be primed with fulminating rune again for six seconds. Up to three allies near the initial target can activate the rune break synergy, dealing X amount of frost damage to enemies within seven meters. That is one of these skills that is going to be that rune skill is literally OP, guys. It's it's insane. It's insane. You have all the all the crap that's around the target, and then you know it's like a curse from a sword. Um, and then you you can you can have your your allies you know get it, um, and I mean it's the single target odd is is pretty insane. That's what I'm saying. Like I I don't understand why people think um, the Arcanus is is like good in PvP because if anything it's PVE that is the biggest like just game breaker in a way um as it should be it's a new class it just came out but this is stronger than the warden and stronger than the freaking crow when they both came out um i thought the the crow was pretty strong when it came out but i think the arcanus is a lot stronger it has more utility in a group and we're even thinking about putting three arcanus in our group um whenever we start the griffin heart trifecta like we're thinking about putting an arcanist to mini tank and do like um our cases and like x set and then we're thinking about putting a healer as well and then having a dps with riptide and martial knowledge so if that tells you like we're thinking about putting three arcanus in the group out of the 12. three out of 12 guys three think about it it's it's pretty busted i really do think that people haven't really looked at the arcanus hard enough to understand hey you know there's something here and here we go. Do you have trouble filling replacements with dungeon finder, especially DPS replacements? Um, a lot of people said yes, no, sometimes other. Um, the guy says yes. If it's a long dungeon, for instance, uh, Lair Marslock, and the replacement is requested at the very beginning of the run, maybe just maybe they will arrive in time to be pulled by the final boss. This has been the case for a long time. And then sometimes says depends on the dungeon and the role we're looking to have filled if it's an easier base game dungeon it may take a little bit of time but we usually get a replacement damage dealer though by the point we get a replacement healer especially tank we're probably halfway through the dungeon or not far off completing when it comes to dlc dungeons however it takes longer to get someone not just because of the finder but because often that new person will take one look at the dungeon and leave making us re <laughs> oh poor thing for someone else often resulting in just giving up the run altogether. If we lose a tank or a healer, uh, group usually disbands right then and there. Um, unfortunately, that is that is a thing. Um, this is why I heavily encourage people to be in guilds and try to like teach people how to do these dungeons. Um, and says, this guy, Sor Soror, says, I just look for friends and guildmates. I know that Q won't work. It's been quite quite a long time since I've been placed in an unfinished dungeon. And the amount of times this has happened, my entire playtime is probably five or less. Um, and, you know, the, this guy says, I usually finish a dungeon before the replacement arrives, which seems weird as it takes forever to queue and just as long to replace the DD. Um, <laughs> Maybe the dungeon queue is, is bugged. It could be a thing. But people are still having problems with, with that. This guy says, Dramothra style from New Crown Crate. 
Is it wise to let us get this style in this way? They even put it in a single purchase for only 100 crown gems or 3600 seals of endeavor. This feels like they're stabbing mild lore cows in the back. And people are saying, well, the crafting page is like 100k average. I just buy them off to traders. I don't see a problem here. You can buy them off to traders. Hope for some luck during the anniversary event. Yeah, they are dropping out of those boxes there. And if you can afford buying them either with gold or crowns and also don't want to wait, you can still utilize Noble Sergeant Broken Soul. Yeah, he got a promotion last patch and burred them out of Rakat yourself. <laughs> So this guy's saying, if you can't afford them, go and kill Racky Poo yourself. Go and kill Racky Poo because you don't need to be in there on vet to get those gold pages, guys, or to get those style pages. You just need to go in there with people, get the coffers, and one of those coffers is going to drop. And then just start trading with people, and then there you go. Um... Ragnarok says, I'm not a fan of selling motif styles that drop from continent to the crown store. I, if you want the motif, play the content. I'm not crazy about them being, being able to be sold to people outside of your raid group, to be honest. Um, I don't agree with that. I think you should be able to sell them. Um, I really do think that they shouldn't put a lot of the... Um, I think the motifs that come out, like the 5,000 crown motifs, I think those should be put in crown crates more than anything. Um, and I think it'll help the economy with some of those books a little bit better. But that's the only thing that I really would say, like, um, instead of selling it for 5,000 crowns, like, you know, the, the book or whatever, the gold book in the crown store. I think the gold book should be tied to crown crates. And you could put, like, X amount of crown gems on it, like they usually do. But as far as everything else, I really don't like the just by itself 5,000 crown thing. Like, no. Um, I've actually stopped buying the 5,000 crown. I'm just... It's... It's a lot better to to get the motifs if they're 60k or less. It's actually a lot better to get the motifs through the game paying gold per page than through the crown store. I've actually done the math. Um, and then this guy says this particular ship sailed five, six years ago, which was when it was offered directly for crowns in the store. The only change now is you play the crate gems seals game instead. ETA lost track of time six years. Um, and then this guy says, why are people acting like Dramatha style is hard to get? Sure, it drops from a trial, but also it's tradable and sellable. You can buy it for a very reasonable price in the guild traders. Well, a lot of it is reasonable. The, the big pieces are not. Um, the chest, uh, the legs are not reasonable, guys. Um, but, I mean, hey. Um, yeah, this guy says, these pages are not 100k. They average 800k to a mil on PC. Although the 100k ones are like daggers and belts. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. But they're still, you can still sell them. To be honest, guys, like, just go to Craglorn. Make a freaking group. Normal mall, pug, like motif farm page get your guildies to to come in um and to be honest on pc one mil is not that bad um and this guy even said one mil is still a pretty reasonable price for not having to farm a trial it's also a much quicker milestone than reaching 3600 seals of endeavor with how wild inflation has gotten you can get one million materials fairly quickly from farming tutorial zones exactly the point is that adding them to the crown crates doesn't really cheapen the motif at all, especially considering it's years old, can be bought on traders, and have been in the crown store already for ages. Exactly. So, this this is what I was talking about. If if they they can add it to the crown crates, that's fine. I don't care, but they really don't need to. It's been out for a while. Just have people farm the damn thing. Um, and they put them in the jewelry boxes. Come on now, guys. Anyways, guys, um, if you guys uh, don't know, the spring theme housing contest is happening right now. It ends July 30th, so you have to be done on July 30th 
with it and that's um that week we're gonna pick the winners first place 500k second place 300k third place 200k and guess what it's in snug pod spring theme get it done guys um and thank you guys for the boosting our server these are our boosters Cougar's Gaze, Boring Music, 09 X Reading X, and Merc 271. We need more people to boost our server. That would be great. But remember, please boost responsibly. If you cannot afford to boost our server, please do not do so. Um, other than that, help us out and try to get that. Um, basically, my uh, check check out the last cougar talk for my eu server experience that um that is actually a pretty fun cougar talk and if you want to become a coogie you are more than welcome to be a part of our family we have guild spots open weekly traders donation based we have beginner and advanced prog teams pvp housing tales and much more thank you guys for listening to cougar talk and have a blessed day Bouncing, 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 bouncing